if you don't have data, you make policy in the absence of evidence. And that's just not a very efficient way. And it's also missing great opportunities to improve population health. So you really do need evidence. And the most essential evidence, the cornerstone of any health information system, is information about who dies of what. I spent many years of my life working with countries to improve the availability and quality of their data. And I think one of the fundamentals is to have good data on births and deaths. How many births do you have in your country? How many deaths do you have? And many countries, despite the fact we've had 75 years of effort by many development agencies, still don't have those data. So for me, Data for Health is a very important project because it's designed to work with countries to strengthen those systems, those civil registration and vital statistics systems that will give countries the data they need. My last uh, job for the UN was as Chief of Statistics Development in Bangkok. I had not previously worked in Asia, but in that position it was a massive discovery to see how poorly developed vital statistics and civil registration in general was. And it was a bit of an eye-opener for me. So when I finished my job there and came to Australia and opened up my uh, consultancy, I just could not ignore that that was something which really there was a need for. My area of work, of course, is, is global health. And there's never been a more exciting time in history than right now because the pattern of the burden of disease, the rates of mortality, and what causes that mortality has never changed faster than it has in human history that is changing now. And for that reason, we have to know about it. We have to measure that. And uh, for most of the countries where the change is happening fastest, there is really no data. There's no story to tell, based, except what we get from models and estimates and guesswork and assumptions. So helping countries actually measure what's happening to their population is absolutely critical now to steer the policies, to steer the resource allocations that are needed uh, to change to prepare uh, health, country health systems for the future and country health policies.